So I did a post the other day and folks were really interested about this option where we can use the multi-line meta field in, to support HTML and asked something right out of the box that we've only been able to get out of that is using the single line text meta field versus now there is the ability to do that. It's just not really, I don't think well documented anywhere. Um, just kind of stumbled upon this here when I was working with the store rather than having to like move things back and forth, we just updated to using this where basically we're going to directly input to the customizer the dynamic source that we want and we're going to pin dot value to the end of it so i'm going to show you what this looks like real quick here so here's just a quick store that i've got to do uh, for demo purposes here um, you can see here if you go into settings scroll down to meta fields and you'll see here there's multiple products and you'll see that there's a single line option and then we also have this one where it's multi-line text. So single line text, we'll click into that just to show you what that looks like. Okay. And then multi-line text. Um, this is as easy as adding a definition here and then selecting a content type. And then an option. Flip out this option. So you can select the content type for single line or multi-line. Let me just add that one more time just for fun. Do any kind of validation or whatever you want there and save it. So the multi-line text is just easier when we're working with uh, folks to just kind of input information. Obviously you don't have to use that or whatever, um, but if we are trying to type HTML, I'm gonna showcase this here with this product. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you've got the options for the meta fields. Quick view all just makes it easier to view. But in the past here, what we do is, let's say we'd want to drop some HTML in here. So this is a header. And for the semantic HTML folks, we won't make this an H1 because we should have more than one H1. Or use some product page, we should have right there. Um, this is paragraph text. And then something like, you know, Bold font. With emphasis. Okay. Make sure close off that tag. If we were using HTML, make sure we do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I want the same exact thing for this. Um, this is a header, maybe multi. So the way we can kind of differentiate between the two and make sure we're not calling the same resource or something. Okay, so went ahead and updated this. So we've got single line option and then this awesome resource name value here, right? So in the customizer before, and so I'm on a product page, uh, the folks over at Southern Breeze, I worked with them for a while. They're really great. If you're into tea, check them out. Um, so I'm just using one of their products here for the demo purposes here, just like uh, this is just a old staging site and stuff that I'm, that I'm using here. But so normally we're in the customizer and we'd want to go ahead and insert a dynamic source. So you can see we have awesome resource name, but let's check and see single line option. This works great. But if we want awesome resource name, that's multi-line. You'll see that it gives us the plain text value instead of the actual HTML value. And that's obviously not what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel here. But what we can do instead is if we just directly type that in and what this looks like is we're going to put this in between those little curly brackets there. And you want this guy here. So product at Metafields, a custom, an awesome resource name. Okay. Product at Metafields, custom, awesome resource name. And then we're going to add a dot value in the end. Okay. And then close it off. And you can see here now, this now supports our multi line HTML and it can do this directly. So the only thing that might trip you up on this possibly, um, you can't do this trick if there's already just like a single line text value here. So let's say we try to do that again. Uh, we're gonna get an error and it'll tell you even too, because it's not, it's not a valid dynamic resource because it's multi-line. So we actually can't use that for this here. So make sure it's just one of these like rich, um, 
for sex values here. Um, here where you can actually like you know, add these things or whatever, um, not just will work for you without issue or anything like that. But, okay, so that's how you do that. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, yeah, this bothered me quite a bit. So I'm really glad that I found this and I hope this is helpful for somebody else.